All right. So this one's an oldie, but a goodie. This is Magicy Goaty. So the way it works, right, is you start with Manju. Uh, this is one of those decks where you kind of have to start with Manju. There are some hands that can let you do differently. And of course, you can like slip in some extra starters like Butanafol uh, and what have you. Lifelessly Fish kind of does it as well. Uh, anyway, Magic Key World. Uh, we don't really need to activate it right now, but it's another way to get Beetle Bus Beetle Buster. Beetle's Buster. Alright, now, Special Summon, using Advanced Order Art, a White Dolphin twice. It is a fish. And level 2. Both of those things are important for the rest of the combo. Now, Beto's Buster, once you activate its effect, generally you want to add Math Deal. But since we already added it off of Magic Your World, we can just afford to add an extra body that we can swap if we ever have, you know, non-bricks in our hands, such as Maxi, Ash Blossom, if you want to play that, run that, Nibiru and whatnot. And we're going to shuffle back Draw Hand because we're going to need to use Fusion Destiny anyway so uh, one thing that magic your world lets you do is shuffle back a brick which is pretty good so set the dolphin our uh, summon it in defense now this is the important part this is very important maftia turn maftio into Angela Bolas, and we are sending Water Spirit. Water Spirit will be important later. Angela Bolas effect adds back the Maftia. Then we make Orion Pass. Because it is a generic, generic synchro of level 6. Orion Pass effect banishes Shif. So that's one fish that's going to come back on the next standby phase. Now, we use the two other level 4s to make Daigusto Emerald and use its effect, detaching one to special summon Water Spirit, which is a level 1 tuner. 6 plus 1 makes seven this sends Arian pass to the grave which we can banish itself to add to our hand for example well we want to add to our hand paces like there's no exception unless you have it in the hand already and there's a reason for that you might say red mage what are you doing we can use the second effect of Ancient Fairy Dragon to get their field spell, with which we can banish paces to search for Snopios. So that's another one that summons itself at the standby phase. Then we have two monsters on the field that don't really serve much purpose. However, there are a few synergies with um, DP. So we make DP, sending draw hand and um, Dasher, of course. Now, while you control the Synchro Fish monster, this card cannot be destroyed or banished by card effects. 
This means DPE, once you get a synchro on the board, uh, becomes a free pop. Just straight up. You might not want to use it because if you want to go into DPE on, you're going to want to use the DPE pop first and, you know, actually pop itself. But it's there. Now, uh, resolve card effect. So, first, draw hand. Now, draw hand can let both players draw a card. But you can decide not to do it. Like, it's not oblig it's not necessary. I like to do it because it lets me plus. Uh, then we go ahead and special summon the rest of the troop. Like so. There we go. Alright, so they go with the tricky and this is where it gets really fun. Because we can go ahead and use this effect make you Arion Pass. Arion Pass effect is going to banish Zep. Zep effect brings itself back and then uses its effect to make a scan. Uh, and then we can use a scan's effect to banish itself. Uh, and we don't really need to do the search because we have everything we need. But if you wanted to say, for example, here, I have Mafti in hand. Do I have another? Yeah, I don't run any other magic -y things. But like if you were to have a magic -y world or something and you want a normal monster to set off your play, that's where you can search the seven colored fish. That is an option you have for yourself. Uh, that's not what we're gonna do though. We want the extra fish in grave. Uh, now we can activate. Uh, I kind of messed up. It's fine. It's fine. Cause we can go ahead and banish both of those to make Snoopios. Now, we have Snoopios. We can special summon uh, a Dibion, right, is an option. But obviously we don't want to do that because it would be kind of silly. We're just going to Google them. And this effect activates. And then we can banish Snopios to bring itself back. And then Snopios effect banishes faces to add itself back to hand. But we can go for this, but we can go ahead and get the free pop. And they have a thing. They have a set card. No idea what it is, but it's fine. Uh, we don't have enough room to use Dasher's effect. Because remember, we now have both Paces and Shift in Grave. And DP is coming back as well. So, no. Alright, DP comes back. Uh, we could immediately use its effect to pop, which is an idea. Let's just get that out of the way. And summon those two. Like this. Now, we have so many options for us right now. Uh, we can go ahead and make DB on. Like, that is one of the options. 
his banish of the entire board is only available during the opponent's turn. Now, what we can do is we can also make some protection for dudes. How about we do that? The gamer. Now, if the opponent has a, um, let's say the opponent has a monster that's face up. Somehow, you left a monster on their field. Uh, you could normal summon this and go into Final Sigma if you wanted, or you can double down on the Godi of the Deep Beyond. Uh, you can banish more fish. If you want to be really spicy with it, right? You can banish this card, banish, and activate Ascon's effect, banishing uh, this one, sure. And then you get more bodies on the field, uh, and then we can go ahead and banish Shift to get that DB on super big. Uh, and then we can uh, even activate this effect. Banish. We already have a Paces banish, right? No, we do not. So, banish Paces and this. And then we have Snopios as well on the field. And that's a uh, 15,000. 300 on the field and uh, she makes uh, your face up monsters you can open and controls cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effect this turn pretty good protection and you get to banish more cards it is pretty good if you use it in response to a monster effect you can actually banish all copies, which is really nice. Something like a Moye, yeah, it's all gone now. Uh, you can even banish some more if you want to get really, really spicy with it. You can banish this to add another Snopios. And uh, yeah, that's as much as we can get. You get the idea. So with that said, let's uh let's just kill this guy. And move on to the deck list. Which again, I don't have the UR for some of the Godi starters. But this is basically the deck. Um, honestly, uh, these can go. You can probably like remove this guy altogether. Just keep it very simple. Uh, mallets and reloads are there to just fix up their hand. Uh, because realistically, you only need two cards. Uh, Manju and then either Adventure Art, Thedos Buster, or Magic -y World. That starts up the whole combo. And then if you have any of your bricks in hand, like if you have your shift, you can shuffle it back with Magic -y World. It's a fact to search a math tier. Which is why I've run two. Uh, sometimes you draw into one, and uh, that's a problem, because then you can't shuffle back another card to get it. Uh, Ideally, you don't want to draw it in your starting hand. Uh, especially Fusion Destiny, sometimes is just really sticky. But it's not that bad because you can just use it at the end of turn if you really want. Uh, you would still have to get rid of your Daigusto Emerald and your Ancient Fairy Dragon on the field. Because at the end of the at the start of the next turn, you have shift, faces, and draw hand. 
that are going to just fill up your field really fast. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the deck. Uh, thanks for watching.